Welcome in this video demonstration of creating sections in Rhino from 3D geometry. Sections are often used to analyze the shape and the fairness of 3D geometry, whether it is a ship hull, a superstructure or interior. But also sections are still often used for 2D detailing in for example AutoCAD. In this demonstration I will only show you a few of the options and techniques to create intersections in Rhino or with a plugin. But it's useful to see the general principles of creating sections in Rhino. I can also make an array of sections in Rhino, for example to create a lines plan. And this is all standard Rhino techniques. More sophisticated are tools like ArchCut, Orca 3D and Grasshopper scripting tools to create sections which also update automatically when the shape changes of the geometry. In this example I use ArchCut to show you the principles of this way of working. And as you can see over here, ArchCut automatically adds layers containing sections to the layer manager. By storing the layers in the main layer ArchCut sections, you can see over here that I can switch on and off the sections by a press of the button. Another useful feature is the updating option. For example, if I scale the hull and make it a little more smaller, you witness that the sections do not match the shape anymore. By pressing this button, ArchCut automatically updates the sections to the new shape. For 2D detailing purposes, there is another option, and that's this button, to create a nest layout. I can select all sections, and for example, lay them on the floor. As you can see, these are the frames. And if I now add geometry to this frame, for example, from here to here, and I reshape or resize the hull again, one direction. I can update easily. And as you can see, this hasn't changed. By creating a new nest layout, I can find which frames have changed and update my drawings. These are the general principles of using Rhino for sectioning and I hope it is useful to you. 
Thank you very much for watching.